This is John Young with Weekend Handyman. What we're looking at today is a mounting bracket that we're using on an XP900 Polaris UTV right here. This is what we use when we're working out on a job site and cleaning things up at the end of the day. What I wanted to do is have some additional lighting that were beyond the headlights. The headlights are more of a spotlight that go in front of it. Do a nice job for that. But I needed something that was more of a floodlight. So I went and purchased some fairly inexpensive LED fixtures. But I needed to have a way to mount those. And I didn't want to go and be drilling holes, so I found this. This little guy right here is from PIA, P-I-A-A. -A. This is the 360 Universal Light Mounting Bracket. And I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check this out. But what it is, is a, it's the little part that goes all the way around, and then it has a little piece that comes up here, and then you have your light that will then bolt into it. And as you can see, as I'm wiggling here, the whole unit is going because this is a solid, secure connection. And it has a lot of flexibility and adjustability on that, so you can put it on there, lock it in, or if I needed to, I could take it off and remove it and I wouldn't have any scratches or dents or anything going onto this tube, which is kind of cool. But this little guy, I bought, it was a two pack, you can see the other ones over there. Not that expensive, but it's incredibly durable because I put these on actually last fall and I wanted to run it for a while before doing this video so I could really truthfully tell you that these do work and they work very, very well. We'll put a link in the description below so you can check these out. If you need to mount some extra lights on your UTV or ATV and you got inch and a half or inch and three quarter tubes like we have on the front of the Ranger here, you can just get this guy, clamp it on, and you're good to go. Again, we'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman.